I did. I've heard this a lot on the internet, and I agree with it a ton. Do Mexican Independence Day in Mexico in the sphere, and then all of a sudden you're gonna fucking, okay. Oh, we're gonna show the combat lineage of Mexican combat. Shut the. F the headline is oh two white boys Mexican Independence Day. My it's just annoying. Why not just do Mexican Independence Day in Mexico and do the fucking O'Malley Marab? Raul Rojas Judas versus Arichi Long. That should be a banger. And that's opening the event. Yeah, this is already cool. Damn, that's the first fight of the night. Oh, what? It's the only you, thing on. This is. Do you know who this guy is? I do. Chee -wee yeah, he's the. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who you got? Brian Ortega versus Diego Lopez. Ooh. Yo, you got. I know. Minutes. I know. We got to chop this. Oh, my goodness. This one is so hard. I think I said that last time, too. Yeah, that's a hell of a pause right there. Um, <laughs> that was adorable. Like your delayed reaction on that one was fucking hilarious. <laughs> like a little kid right there. It's funny how I still don't feel like Sean's cemented. You know, like as really, I, I, to me, he's not. Why not? But I just don't like him. That's why. That's right. It's a white boy. I get it's it. It's not even a side. It's a white boy. I like lots of white boys. Hey yo, like as fighters. <laughs> oh, I can't stand you. God damn it. <laughs> it's time. UFC 306 O'Malley versus Marab. <laughs> I put the last name with the first name. <laughs> Live from the sphere in Las Vegas for Mexican Independence Day. It's the whitest Mexican Independence Day card you can find around. There's Mexicans on there. A bunch. <laughs> no, but like <laughs> I did I've heard this a lot on the internet and I agree with it a ton. Do Mexican Independence Day in Mexico in the sphere? And then all of a sudden you're gonna fucking okay. Oh, and we're gonna show the combat lineage of Mexican combat. Shut the fuck up, nigga. The headline is oh two white boys. Mexican Independence Day, my ass. It's just annoying. Why not just do Mexican Independence Day in Mexico and do the fucking O'Malley Marab? Well, one, you can make way more money doing it at the Sphere. What do you mean they're going to make the Sphere money? And before we even get into the fight card, no, they're having trouble selling out this event. This and they've had so to, expensive. They've had to <laughs> fucking half the price. I read the, the tickets that were left available. Yeah, there's like They 3, went from 3000 to like 1000 Yeah. Cause the, the fucking weirdos, bro. You know what it is? It's WME. I, bro, I'm worried about the future because they bought WWE and they bought UFC. Mm -hmm. The two companies are still doing great because they're run and managed by the guys that started those companies that were there. Triple H is crushing right now, running WWE with his guys. Dana continuing to crush. Mm -hmm. What happens when Dana like phases out and WME wants more, like Endeavor wants more say so? In the happenings, because they're already getting their say so with ticket pricing. WWE's ticket pricing and UFC, obviously, mm -hmm. the most expensive they have ever been 100%. this last year. And they already said next year is going to be more. Yeah. WWE just had a pay per view last night in Berlin, wow. in Berlin, Germany. Like, not even close to the biggest audience they've had. They had 13,000 or whatever, like 14,000, something like this in the arena. They capped it, yeah. sold out. But. It was only like 13, 14,000. They just did like, it was their highest grossing arena show of all time anywhere they've ever done. That's crazy. Their ticket prices are fucking atrocious right now. You yeah. have to have a nice job yep. to sit in the nosebleeds, bro. Like, Even for when they came to Toronto, it was like $500. Oh, bro. UFC was already a, a problem when they were coming to Toronto. But since the, the endeavor- The time before that, like, the, in like 2016 when I went. 2016, brother. I never- brother. Brother. Brother, Brother ugh. I'm talking all the way like I, that. But the price of everything was cheap back then. Yeah, I, I got to see in Brooklyn. I was at Barclays Stadium. Decent prices. Unfortunately, still cheaper in the states to go see stuff. But still, the prices are are astronomical yeah. at this point. So it's just, it's just pure fuckery. Like, okay, you're doing the the Sphere show. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, just Mexican independence. They do it in Mexico. Go to Arena Mexico, which is a popping arena in Mexico right now. Yeah. A lot of great, like, wrestling is happening out of there. But it's, like, a big known arena that people are proud to go and perform yeah. in. Go do Independence Day out there. 
four Mexicans in yeah. Mexico have an all Mexican card. Or at least it makes a little more sense when you have some white guys. At least the events in Mexico. Yeah. Anyways, UFC 306, <laughs> live from the fucking shit. Let's 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 run this down. Dante is the pro from the analyst bottom? here. From the bottom? Uh, and scroll if up. If you see anything, okay. yeah. If you All see right. anything from the early prelims to the prelims, right, mention it. Go. But then let's let's get through this because we, we, we got we got like ten minutes, bro. Uh, Raul Rojas Jr. versus Arichi Long. That should be a banger. Then that's opening the event. Yeah, this is early prelims. Damn, that's the first fight of the night. Oh, what? It's the do only you, thing on. This is do you know who this guy is? I do. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's working his way up. He's working the his rankings, way up. Yeah, yeah, because he was like the youngest guy. They signed him at seventeen. So he, uh, people are saying he's scary. He's pretty like because he, he's got a great wrestling base. So that makes this Chinese it, guy. What's his name? Arichi Long. Arichi Long. Yeah. <laughs> Wild. That's all one. One word. A o r i q i l e n g. Arichi Long. Yeah. Two names. A Richie sound wild. <laughs> Chinese language, wild. Um, but yeah, who do you see winning this? Rojas. Rojas. Wrestling. All right. Um, yeah. We got Edgar Chires versus Kevin Rojas. I got Edgar for that one. Go on to the next one. All right. Don't know these two. Ooh, Miguel Torres Ignacio Bahamondes. Miguel is Manuel. Manuel. Sorry, Manuel. When I was making Manuel. It, that was the dyslexia Hola. popping up. Me amo Emmanuel Torres. I got Ignacio on Ignacio. this one. Ignacio. Wait. Bama no this. Ignacio Bama no this. Baja. VH. Baja Mondes. Baja Mondes. Yeah. Ignacio. He has one of the craziest spinning back kicks. Baja Mondes. He has one of the craziest spinning back kick knockouts ever. Oh, really? Yeah. Can we? Can we pull one up real quick? Can you do it really quick? Because we're this this I camera's know, right? about to shut down on me. Hey. Oh, and the camera switch. Oh, Ignacio Bahamandes. Bahamandes. All right, let's yeah. go back to the <laughs> goddamn. Yeah. So, and he's like he's a young guy, right? Who Who's you got in this, Ignacio? Odds are close. Pretty close. One He's time. the favorite. Ignacio's favorite. All right. Let's keep it moving. Uh, oh, Irene Aldana versus Norma Dumont. Man, this is going to be a good one. I got Irene. Yeah? That's a favoritism thing. Because I like her boxing style. But the odds are only 10 points off. Yeah. That's it's a close fight. Do you see her winning, though, for real? I can see through her. Through judges I, or through stoppage or Well, or... I think because she's a pressure boxer. Okay. Right, and because you you pressure, you get more points. You get more favor in the judge's eyes because you're pressing the action. If you're backing up, but you're even if you're hitting more and and you're backing up, it doesn't look as good to the judges. Okay, but I could see her like landing like a pretty dope left hand. Got you, got you. Um, Ronaldo. Now we're on to the main card. Ode Osborne. Ronaldo Rodriguez versus Ode. Osborne. Jamaica, Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamaica. Obviously, you want him to win. Yeah, but I've seen Is he going to win? I don't know. I don't really know much about this guy, Ronaldo Rodriguez. So we'll just chalk it up to Jamaican winning. Yeah, but even then, like, he's very up <laughs> and down. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I apologize. Either way. I'm not offended. I, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> um, Daniel, Daniel Z Zaluber. Yo, is there not a Mexican champion right now on the male side? Uh no. Lopez? He's not champion. He's right here. Look. That's so funny. I saw his name. That's why I <laughs> wanted to say it. He's not champion yet. Oh, and he's not Mexican. He's Brazilian. Yeah. That's I racist. Always, I always fuck that up. <laughs> Jamaica, Jamaica. Um, I don't know between these guys. So Daniel Zol Zaluber. Zaluber versus Esteban Rivovix. Uh, odds minus one ninety two to one sixty. You don't know? No. Okay. So go you gonna take a guess? Yeah. Educated guess? Nah. I don't know anything about these okay, guys. So I have nothing to even base a guess off of. We got Brian Ortega versus Diego Lopez. Banger alert! This was supposed to happen. What? And then Brian Ortega pulled out. Pulled out or yeah. injured? Pulled out. I think due to injury. Look, when you say it like, man, you gotta give context. When you yeah. say pulled out, it makes him sound like a bitch. Well, it was like four hours. 
Remember, and then Dan Ige stepped in. Oh, stepped in last minute. Yeah. That's right. So this is that fight. Yeah. Nice. They're running it back quick. Yeah. All right. Good. I can't believe Diego Lopez is number 12. I've, I've been seeing so much of him lately. So I maybe you that's what I think he would I be. I feel buddy. like, yeah. But do you, he's about to fight. So number 12 fights number three. Let's say 12 wins. What does that put him in the ranking? Like five. <laughs> yeah? Probably. Yeah. I wonder how that math works. Because I don't think there's any but way... There's got to be an equation to make this make yeah, sense, I would, right? I would say he'd probably be closer to five, if not four. Because he I, really is up there. He's top five of the division. Okay, let's go to the division just real quick. Oops. Where do I... Yeah, either way. Um, Featherweight. I know. I just want to go to the division, but I would have to go to the... Yeah. Because I don't want to do that. Um... This is light featherweight. This is Volkanovski. Ilya. Oh my good god! Yeah, I would still. Ah oh man. You know, let me let me go to the rankings. As soon as you just said those two names, I'm like, yee. But yeah. still, like top five. Does he make top five? Look, we got Volkanovski, Max, or Tay. Yeah, Arnold, Alex, oh. Al Jermaine, Calvin, Giga. He, you know, he's right where he's Giga supposed Giga to. Be. He's you, right where he's supposed I to. I would love to see Diego versus Al Jermaine. He's fighting. Uh, I know uh, higher ranking. No, no, no. Aljermaine's fighting Mavzar Luvloyev. Jeez, I know. Jeez, um, but yeah. So he's he's jumping the line. Diego, he's jumping a lot because he's been yeah. fucking crushing in the octagon. He's been crushing. He's been crushing, but he's been crushing guys outside the top fifteen, top ten. What about? Wow, well, fuck. Super Sadiq. Danny okay, Gay. fine. Did he just move weight classes though? No, Al Jermaine did. He didn't. This is he's always been fighting with. What was the Mexican he just fought? Didn't he have a really high profile fight? Dan Ige, because he was supposed to fight. That's right. That's right. He was supposed right. to fight Brian Ortega. Okay, let's go back to the card. All right. So who you got? Brian Ortega versus Diego Lopez. Ooh. Yo, you got. I know. Minutes. I know. We got to chop this. Oh my goodness. This one is so hard. I think I said that last time too. Yeah, that's a hell of pause right there. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was adorable. Like your delayed reaction on that one was fucking hilarious. <laughs> like a little kid right there. Uh, okay. <laughs> the thing with Brian Ortega is fuck that one died. Yeah. So hurry up. Okay. The thing with Brian Ortega is that you can't. He's so dangerous on the ground. Yeah. You can't really count him out. But he has a tendency to get beat up on the feet. And Diego Lopez is able to beat him up on the feet and probably defend himself on the ground. You know okay. what I mean? But, like, with Ortega, you know, he might be coming back super healthy. Out of respect, I'm, I'm going to go Ortega because he's number three. Yeah. Right? He's probably got some tricks. But if Diego Lopez wins, that would be a great win for him. But I'm going to pick Ortega. Ortega. All right. And co-main event. Alexa Grasso versus Valentina Shevchenko. Shevchenko trying to get her title back. Yeah, this is going to be hard. Yeah? This is going to be fuckery. Like the last one. The last one went to judges? Yes. Yeah. And they robbed her. Because it was Mexican Independence Day. Oh, that's so funny. Well, then she's going to have to stop her. I know. And she can. She can. Yeah. It's hard. It's going to be hard. That's what I said. <laughs> Who do you got? I got Shevchenko. I I always gotta go with my girl Shevchenko every single time. I gotta go with the bullet. All right. You see it stoppage or distance? It has to go stoppage because if it goes a distance, she's not winning. She's not winning, which is what I said the last time. And it, uh, she got robbed, and she literally said, "I think I would have won if it wasn't Mexican Independence Day." I do remember her saying that. And then they did it to her again. <laughs> Actually, never mind. I was gonna say I'm surprised Gaethje's not fighting on this card. Nah, he's he needs the year off, bro. Yeah, I know, but he's Mexican, so <laughs> Justin Gaethje. He's Mexican. Justin Gaethje's Mexican. You didn't know that? He's half Mexican. No, he's like eighty percent Mexican. What? Yeah, he's like that Canelo kind of Mexican. What the fuck? <laughs> 
blew my mind right that's there. why he fights the way that's that mexican fighting spirit interesting wild <laughs> i feel like at some point i knew that but it's just not a stat that you retain yeah. that is like, what uh so now we are at the main event bantamweight title up for grabs sean o'malley defending against Murab devolishly yes the De- wait devolish volley devolish volley Vili. Vili. no i think the v is like devolish no it's not a silent v Devalish Vili. It's more like a double U. Sean versus Marab uh, for the title. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, what do you like? Two beasts. Obviously, Sean coming off a really good win. Off of Cheeto. Yeah. Uh, Marab coming off a really good win. Cejudo. So, what do you got? This is this goes back to like how I was saying. Please fucking end I, this too, because I, I will. It's I'm quick. Gonna hate this is why I'm this. using a, an analogy. Okay, but you keep interrupting me, which makes I it go longer. I know. <laughs> this is like Izzy Please versus Duplessis, <laughs> right? <laughs> like the striker has to be perfect throughout the whole thing, or the wrestler is going to take him down. But I would say Sean has better grappling than Izzy does, so he might and take be, down defense. Take down defense, but he's also better at jujitsu better wrestling mm-hmm. he's been training mma is he's striker turned mma guy make sense yeah so i'm i and marab is a nightmare matchup for anybody i i think i think sean's got it on this really one. i think he could outstrike him because marab striking is not that not good that and good, he gets yeah. hit you know and you only need to get so hit you're saying his takedown defense is good enough to stay on the feet Yes, and if it does go to the ground, he's got the grappling to submit him, reverse him, do sweep or him, or at least defend and defend. Yeah, and and Sean's got that movement to where it's hard to take him down. It's gonna be an interesting like, fight, man. Marab's gonna go for like a double leg and then boom, just upper flying knee, like the one he hit on Cheeto Vera. It's funny how I still don't feel like Sean's cemented. You know, like as. Really? I, I, to me, he's not. Why not? But I just don't like him. That's why. Okay, so it's a white boy. I get it's it. It's not even a, it's a white boy. I like lots of white boys. Hey, yo. Like, as fighters. <laughs> I, was, I can't stand you. God damn it. Hey, those are your words. I yeah, like yeah, lots I'm, of white I'm, boys. I'm hey, editing yo. that part out. That's not, that's not making the final edit. Uh, I got Sean. Who do you got? Like just based off what you said too, that kind of makes sense. I, I like from, from what I've seen of Sean, like I know he's got good takedown defense, and he's good and he's on the ground. Good on the ground, yeah. yeah. He's not as good as Marab, but then he's better on the feet, and he's good enough. Yeah, and he's got movement. Correct. So, like I would, yeah. Oh, Mally! <laughs> oh, Mally! Yeah. I feel like moving forward, you should do your pick first. And then I do the breakdown. Yeah, because I'm my, obviously just going to go off hey, what I your say. Educated like, you know what he fucking, said makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, like what the fuck? Uh, but yeah, that's UFC 306. I hope you guys enjoy Mexican Independence Day fight card. This is Black Zeus, the podcast season five. I love y'all. Thank you for supporting. Once again, the Patreon is launched. If you do want to watch my comedy special right now, you can do so. It's only 10 bucks and you can get it as part of the subscription fee. So like if you subscribe to the Patreon, you can get it that way or you can just buy it outright for 10 bucks that way. Once again, for transparency, I will release the comedy special for free on the YouTube once we hit a thousand subscribers. So you can also just hit the subscriber uh, button and just do that. You can support that way, whichever way you want to support. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all that. I don't necessarily use it the way everybody else does, but I'm there if you want to find me. AKA Black Zeus is the person to find on those platforms.